Great day for a grocery haul. That was great. All right, what's going on everyone? We just finished up with an arm workout. Now we're on our way to the grocery store. Basically, I wanted to make this grocery trip a little bit more informative. So I'm gonna be sharing some of the secrets, some of the science behind my nutritional choices. So we're gonna be getting nothing but the finest, highest quality premium nutrients on this grocery haul. Let's get it. All right guys, so we're here at Walmart. Let's go inside. All right, so guys, as we go through, I'm gonna be sharing with you the three main pillars of bodybuilding nutrition. And we're gonna be starting with pillar number one, which is that the more protein you can eat, the better. There is actually no limit to the amount of protein that you can absorb in a single meal. And you can actually use all the protein that you eat for muscle building purposes. So we're gonna actually skip over this carb section over here and go straight to the protein aisle. All right, so guys, one of the major staples of my diet is eggs, so I like to have egg whites in the morning as a good source of protein. I'm actually aiming for 450 grams of protein myself right now, I'm trying to get about two grams per pound of body weight. Because I only eat the egg whites, I'm gonna get a few of these. Should last me about like a week or so. I never have too much protein. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go for 10. And one more. Should be good for the week. All right, so guys, another staple in my diet is extra lean ground turkey. Basically, I use this as a pre-workout protein source and an intra-workout protein source. So in between my workout, I'll run out to my car, have some of this, make sure that I'm staying anabolic throughout the workout. And you wanna basically think of your body like an on and off switch. So you're either fully anabolic or fully catabolic. And you wanna stay in that anabolic state as long as possible, including during your training. So if you have a Tupperware, you can put some ground turkey in the Tupperware. That's gonna keep you nice and anabolic throughout your training session. Now one thing that I'll also do is I'll buy a few packs of these wieners and you can actually blend these up into a smoothie and it makes a really nice protein rich shake. Um, so you not only get all the protein from the meat in the wiener, but you also get all the nutrients from all the other stuff that's in there. So get a couple packs of these to blend up. Good to go. All right, so guys, rule number two of bodybuilding nutrition is that you can eat as many carbs as you want and you won't get fat as long as they're coming from clean carb sources. So for me, I like to stock up on a couple big bags of rice like this, put it in a Tupperware. You can eat it at home, eat it in the gym, and it's just a good clean source of carbohydrate. So on to the next thing. So guys, another thing you really don't want to neglect in your diet is phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are basically compounds found in fruits and vegetables that act as antioxidants and anti-inflammatory. So always make sure to get some kind of fruit flavored drink like Gatorade or like a melon flavored Gatorade to make sure I'm not missing out on any of those nutrients. All right, so guys, another thing that's more or less unanimously agreed upon across multiple online nutrition databases like the bodybuilding.com forums is that you really wanna spike your insulin post-workout and you're gonna have all your glycogen depleted from the intense training and you wanna replenish those glycogen stores right away. So what we're gonna use for that is a fast-acting carb source such as Coca-Cola over here. And this is gonna replenish those glycogen stores really fast, spike the insulin, and basically that's what we want. Another thing, can't forget water. Very important to stay hydrated. So drink a couple of these a day. So I'm only gonna get two, two for now so I don't have to get another cart, but just something to keep in mind. Rule number three, the most important rule of bodybuilding nutrition is that you've gotta eat big if you wanna get big. For me, I like to stock up on some ice cream. We can go straight to the Ben and Jerry's over here. High quality, high calorie nutrition. Where's my flavor? Fish food. It's great, a bit of fish in there, good source of omega-3, I think. Get some chocolate chip cookie dough as well. Gotta eat big to get big, man, I'm telling you. It's the only way. All right, let's keep it going. In the words of now retired American pro bodybuilder and eight time Mr. Olympian Ronnie Coleman, ain't nothing but a peanut. So we wanna really stock up on a bunch of high quality peanut butter. Actually, I'm gonna go with this brand for some good healthy fats. So get a few of these and you can add this to your, you know, Ben and Jerry's and even add it to your protein smoothie and it's just gonna make for a very high calorie, nice nutrient rich snack. Okay, 
definitely can't overdo it on the carbs as long as it's clean. Look at that. Boom. I heard that this is a really nutritious superfood, so these are so good. I had these for the first time a couple days ago. I have to get some more. This is great for post-workout as well. Mix it up with some milk, get that insulin spike, you get the protein, perfect. All right, now guys, when you're eating big to get big, one thing you don't want to neglect is your vegetable intake. So always make sure to get a sub, but you know, a solid serving of vegetables on there. Make sure I've got all my bases covered. Look at this. It's actually pretty solid. Pretty good information, honestly. Smart guy. It's pretty good. Okay, thank you. Great day for a grocery haul. That was great. Hopefully you guys learned a lot. I'm gonna go put this in the trunk. And I'll check in with you guys in a minute. All right guys, so if you haven't figured it out already, this video was a complete spoof. I was just meant to troll some of the, bo <laughs> some of the bodybuilding myths that are still out there. Um, so anyway, bro Jeff, don't listen to any of the stuff that he has to say. Um, don't take it too seriously. And we actually just packed all the groceries in the trunk. We're gonna take it to a local food bank here now and donate it because there's no way I need all those eggs or any of that stuff. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna go donate that. Um, please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you like these type of spoof videos from me. I probably won't do them that often, but every now and then I think they can illustrate some points. And I'm gonna do a follow-up video kind of clarifying if that's something you guys would like to see. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss that one. And I'll see you guys all here in the next video.